Amnesia the Bunker. I'm totally down for another fucking Amnesia. So like, I'm glad they announced this. I'm very, I'm very glad they announced this. Wasn't their last game was okay. I forgot what was their last game. Rebirth? Was it rebirth? Yeah. I mean, you know, these guys do horror different. That's what I like about frictional games. You know, they do it different. I'm down. I'm down. Frictional, yeah. The Soma, yeah, like Soma was solid. A machine for pigs. Hold up. Amne is this is this listed on Steam now? Amnesia. Oh yeah. This game was alright. I remember the beginning. Oh yeah. Damn, I remember streaming this shit. Oh yeah. The fucking plane crash in the desert, and then she, in the beginning, and then she stumbles upon all this shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm down, I'm down for their next game. I'm surprised it's another Amnesia, though. Instead of doing something like Soma, they decided to... do another Amnesia after Amnesia. At the same time, the stories are so different, so it's just the ty They know Amnesia fucking sells. People see Amnesia and they get hyped. And then they can tell whatever fucking story they want under the Amnesia umbrella. So whatever. Like, th like the last game was very different from the other games. So hopefully this game is very different too. Oh, I was the I left alone in a desolate World War I bunker with only one bullet remaining in the barrel. It's up to you to face the oppressing terrors in the dark. Keep the lights on at all costs. Preserve and make your way out alive. I played a couple of scary games that are bunker based, so it's kind of also interesting they're going with the bunker here. Good trailers, terrible movies is the new meta. I don't know what the last, what is the last movie I even saw? I don't got time all the time to watch movies anymore. Actually, that troll movie looks like it might be worth watching. I mean, I watch movies, it's just like, a lot of them are like, eh, do I want to commit to this? TV shows are easier to watch now. Yeah, like, Avatar, I want to watch Avatar just because it's like, all right, what the fuck's going on here? I ain't going to the theater, though. Oh, yeah, I saw Bullet Train. I think Bullet Train was the last movie I saw. Did you watch Wednesday? I watched, like, three episodes of Wednesday. Normie streamer, he types while wearing his Iron Man shirt. I like narrating Twitch comments sometimes. Wednesday is crap. Harry Potter for little girls. Yeah, I could. I see why they were trying to be like Harry Potter. I do see that for sure. I don't think so, though. Just because it's like a female main character. I don't really. I mean, I guess so. I don't really see it that way. I thought it was kind of like not really. I didn't really see it as a marketed towards girls a lot. I thought it was like I had decent elements that was like that really wasn't the I didn't I didn't get that vibe from it. It so is? Yeah, I guess so. Schools equals Harry Potter. Yeah, I guess so. Teenage Market, my kids loved it. Yeah, like even Stranger Things last season. Okay, you could argue it was uh, Stranger Things is marketed towards teenagers. But like the last season of Stranger Things, I feel like was more like an ageless. Even Stranger Things in general is kind of ageless. You can enjoy it no matter what age you are. House of Dragons marketed towards dragons. Yeah. Primitive, what is this game? New UE5 survival game. Stream an hour early? Nah, I'm good.
You know what vibes I get from this? Stomping lands. Who remembers? Jesus. This is the weirdest trailer. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Bro, the, the, the problem with people were like, Oh my god, Unreal Engine 5! Look, alright? You can have the goddamn most artisanal fucking bread. The most fucking amazing fucking top of the line goddamn fucking dough for your goddamn pizza, alright? But if you fuck up everything else, the pizza sucks ass. If the dough is fucking UE5, that's great. But if the sauce, the fucking cheese, and the goddamn topping suck balls, no one gives a fuck then. So it's hard to tell. When it's just like, UE5! It's like, okay, and? <laughs> Jesus. What the hell, man? I mean, I'm down for like a primitive survival game, but yeah. Why does this genre of game somehow pull of the incredible feat of all looking so similar? True. Because it's a fucking survival game, you fuck. You're gonna eat, drink, potentially press a keybind to take a dump. You're gonna have to craft shit. There's always gonna be an axe to craft. Because you got to make a fucking shelter. There might be an axe if they want you to mine. It's survival. It's like literally the baseline is you're going to eat and need to like make it so you have drinkable water that you need to purify and shit. So obviously, how else are you supposed to survive? The basics. And you're going to have to sleep. And you're going to have a tent. Yep, this sure does look primitive. The primitive game of all time. Just by a glance, this game looks like it have 50 different kinds of bugs. <laughs> Far Cry Primal, but with 3% the budget. When the Sabertooth turned around, reminded me of my animation class. Yeah, dude, the fucking thumbnail for this video, I was like, yo, this looks sick. But look at this shit. I was like, whoa, this actually might be good, but it's just like... Okay. It kind of does look like it's just like a game that's called Primitive and they just took all a bunch of assets from the Unreal Engine store. Diablo starting the hype train for the Game Awards announcement. Wasn't the rumor that the game, there's going to be a release date for the game? Wasn't Blizzard at the Game Awards last time? I could have swore they were. Who is next? Your last chance. If I see a single microtransaction, I'm over with Blizzard forever. Wow. D3, OW, HOTS, and HS were all ruined by microtransactions. Only D3 recovered after a huge negative feedback. Let's see if they will ruin this one also. He didn't read the blog post. Buddy, this guy didn't read the blog post. There's microtransactions in Diablo 4, bro. <sighs> what a fuck out. One more, man. One more fucking time, dude. I swear to God. Cosmetic microtransactions are hard. <laughs> I swear to fucking god, man. <laughs> See you on release. Delusional cocks.
Delusional cooks. Worst part of it all that he has the top comment. I mean, there's not a lot of people who are... I swear I'm the only one hyped for Diablo 4, man. They don't get a lot of traction on Twitter. D4 could be the last big Blizzard game. Whoa. Actually, if you think about it, what are they going to do? Overwatch 2 is out. Overwatch 2 is out. They, they have seasons now. So there's constant updates, whatever. But they're not going with an OW3 anytime soon. WoW isn't doing a WoW 2. Dragonflight just came out. So Dragonflight's going. So WoW checkmark. Diablo 4 is their next anticipated shit. But what else are they working on? The studio is fucking massive. The studio is... Oh, didn't they announce a survival game? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. No one... Dude, I totally forgot. Oh, yeah, it was this right here. All right, so Diablo 4 isn't their last big release. Create a new universe with us. What if this is like Titan and it gets canceled? Blizzard is embarking on our next quest. Oh yeah, when is Overwatch's PvE coming out? I thought it was supposed to come out by now. Oh no, it's next year, right? We're going on a journey to a whole new universe, home to a brand new survival game for PC and console. There's a bike. And it's clearly fantasy because there's a floating castle. But it also looks modern because of the fucking what they're wearing. Interesting. I wonder how this is. Wait, but then if you look here, I just realized, isn't that like city? Those are those are land. Uh, those are fucking buildings. What the hell? This is weird. For thirty years, Blizzard has been creating universes for millions of players around the globe. This requires a diverse team of developers willing to lend their voices to listen and to be heard. That is our mission. Do you like survival games? Do you want to join us? Apply here. Is this is this concept art for the game? Or is this just like their career page art? I think this is just the art for I think this is the only piece of concept art for the game. And this is just the art on their career page. Or I'm wrong. No, or this is concept art for the game. This looks really different from this. Hmm. Does it matter? Buddy, we're just fucking looking, all right? Can I, we're looking at the future of uh, the fucking video games. This game isn't amazing, but I'm like I said, I'm a sucker for the setting. I love I love this setting. The last time we had a setting like this was Alien Isolation, and there's literally no other fucking game coming out with a sci-fi setting that's like thriller. Other than that game Routine, or whatever that's dropping. Is it called Routine? Routine? Game? This one, that was at the Summer Games Fest. This is the only other one. But this game's weird because it was shown like years ago and then shown again. Almost like it switched developers. I'm not counting Dead Space Remake because it's a remake. I'm gonna play it. Like, this game's not gonna be scary, it's more thriller. Like, it's robots. But this looks so sick. has like crispy animations 
This, this has that alien isolation vibe, so. Yeah, I don't know when the fuck this is coming out, though. They just kind of, like, teased it, and they're like, yep. Here's, like, 40 seconds. Probably coming out in, like, five years. Yep. Yeah. Halo Infinite multiplayer creative director Tom French leaves 343 Industries. Yeah, no shit, because he walks into the office and he's like, what the fuck? Nothing's even happening. What are we doing? We've been working on this same Battle Pass skin fucking Spartan for two years. Every time I sit at my desk, you guys just fucking bring me another draft. I open up my fucking laptop at work and pretend I'm doing anything. So I'm fucking leaving. After over 11 and a half years on Halo, I step out of my Spartan armor for the last time today to head off to new adventures. It's been a massive honor to have been part of a game I love so much as a player and admire so much as a developer. I couldn't be more proud of my time at 343. Holy shit. The creative director of 343. I wonder who he's gonna, what dev company is gonna pick him up. Calling it right now. Netflix, uh, aren't, aren't some, like, FPS veterans, I forgot two or three of the people. They're working, Netflix is working on an FPS. And they tagged, like, some pretty notable people. I wouldn't be surprised. You know they're gonna go, they're gonna try to go fucking ham with that shit. I know, it's weird. A Netflix FPS. I know. That's really fucking weird. I forgot who's working on it. Yeah, they're making an FPS. Uh, fuck. Who? There's like, they pulled people. I think some guy, one of the main dudes from Overwatch, I think, is working on it. I know, it's wicked random. When you type in Netflix FPS, it thinks your fucking video player is lagging. First person shooter. Do you play with a remote control? I don't know, man. I guess so. I think they're just going to have a gaming division. I mean, they like making money. Um, I think they're just trying to, like, you know, get into different things. Because they're always looking to expand, right? So I guess gaming is the next thing. Yo, Maximus with the three. They're probably like, all these other motherfuckers are making streaming. They're trying to stream video games. Well, we stream videos, so why not stream video games? And then we'll fucking stream some other shit. And then they're going to have a Netflix streaming app. Like, when I say streaming app, like a fucking Netflix Twitch. I wouldn't be surprised. They need to keep on growing. Netflix appears to be developing a AAA PC shooter uh, at its Los Angeles studio led by former Overwatch producer and Blizzard vice president Chaco Sony. You know, you wouldn't think you wouldn't think this motherfucker would just join some random ass company, you know? So like, I think that's pretty legitimate. As part of my mobile gamer, the aptly named Netflix Game Studios looking for a game director with experience in shooters to work on a brand new AAA PC game. Akin to Overwatch, it will seemingly be a live service game as Netflix asks, asks for extensive experience in this department. In a similar vein, the candidate must have a deep understanding of highly engaging content and how to deliver it and be deeply passionate about social system and gameplay, both cooperative and competitive. Damn, chat, you guys should apply. The job listing also demands the future director to develop a world character and narrative that are worthy of a Netflix film or TV series and build the game within Unreal Engine. What was that game back in the day uh, that had a TV show, the MMO? It was like that weird fucking alien shit. Didn't it start with a D? Defiance? Defiance, it was like an MMO and it, like, changed with the TV show or something. What happened to Mike Morheim and his new company? Wait, did Mike Morheim join a new company? I thought he just... Didn't he retire? I thought he left Blizzard and... Oh, yeah, Dreamhaven. Oh, yeah. 
No, there's also... Oh, yeah. Motherfucker actually made a new company. I wonder, though. So, why? Blizzard's co-founder founded his own company, and then Netflix picks up Blizzard, uh, Blizzard, Blizzard's vice president. I wonder what they're doing. I mean, the other studio making that RTS, I was so fucking hyped, but, like, seeing their RTS then made me kind of, like, I was aware, all right? I went from fucking hyped to aware when they revealed it, where, I, I don't know, maybe it was super alpha what they showed. Frost Giant Studios or whatever the fuck. I was like, dude, really? But who knows? Maybe it's, like, early. It's just weird. They they have so many names from the StarCraft team. And that's what they are produced. It's just so weird. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this is kind of interesting. I wonder, you know. It, it's it, they're, they're definitely picking up. I mean, whoever, whoever the person heading this project isn't like some random fuck, you know. Speaking of Sony's move over, Netflix VP of gaming, Mike Verdu, said he could have done anything, but he chose to come here. You don't get people like that coming to your organization to build the next big thing in gaming unless there's a sense that we're really in it for the long haul. Yeah, I think the weirdest thing is, is if this game's going to be like a Netflix exclusive FPS. So like, I hope you're, uh, that implies it's going to be some sort of cloud gaming. Does it not? And you're going to have a Netflix subscription to play it. So, I hope they, that's going to be a hurdle. <laughs> it's going to be riddled with microtransactions? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? They already have people on the Netflix subscription, so... Hypothetically, they wouldn't need to do that. They already kind of like... You already got to pay a subscription to play it. So, the only thing they're going to add is maybe like skin microtransactions to add on. Maybe. I don't know. It's interesting, though. I don't know. See, uh, Sifu, the popular martial arts game released earlier this year, is being adapted into a live-action film with John Wick creator Derek Colstead. Hi? I will say that's kind of weird, because Sifu's lore wasn't some crazy shit. Sifu was a cool game, but it was literally just a dude. Wait, what was the... Wasn't he just killing a bunch of, like, high, important dudes? Was he avenging someone in Sifu? What was the story? I don't remember. You aged when you died. It was a story about a revenge for his master. Or did he avenge his family? So the guy who created John Wick about avenging a dog's death is now... Okay, so this is basically John Wick fully focused on martial arts. Is basically where we're at. Which is more interesting than fucking guns. What they need to do is he needs to make it so the main character is uh, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen or one of the, one of the dudes from The Raid. That or one of those actors. I know the choreographer. Or or the guy from uh, what the other movies, Ong Bak. They do Ong Bak or the choreographer from uh, The Raid. Yeah, Tony Ja, maybe. I don't know, though, because this is going to be like a straight up fucking Hollywood movie. So they're, he's going to want like a big name. Tony Ja is like, he's known if you kind of watch his shit. Not, he's not a household name. 